unfortunately, my niece-in-law lost her life and my great-great-niece lost her life, which was born last year on my birthday, which was my birthday present now. I don't have, only gonna have memories of her now. This is all too much for me. Okay, yeah, his parents has arrived. Walk in with her. Slow down, slow down, slow down. He's trying to take pictures of y'all. Look at my baby. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Go over there at the table. Go over there at the table with your parents. Y'all go over that way. Go over that way. Go over that way, baby. The baby name spelled out at the bottom. Her name is Melania Ajay. Pretty girl. You okay? She's pretty, honey. Super cute. It wasn't too long ago, last September, Tiffany Abrams Jones posted live videos in a gallery of photos on Facebook from her daughter's baby shower. The mermaid theme gave her so much joy and a little anxiety while trying to make sure her baby girls had a glamorous day, even trying to encourage Michael Sanders, her daughter's child's father, during the day as well. Dance! Dance. It's called Deliver Milani! Prince Jones and Tiffany Abrams Jones were identified as the grandfather and grandmother of Milani, the couple's child. According to reports, the couple shared a very deep bond. The pair from Trenton, New Jersey displayed their love for each other via social media to their friends and family. One post stated, well, our 10 years down and a life sentence to go, what an anniversary weekend came to an end. We really enjoyed ourselves. We did everything we wanted to do except the gun range, but overall it's been real. The pair also shared many pictures and videos of their children and grandchildren. They loved being grandparents and they were very protective over their loved ones. And that love was returned, especially from her daughter. I don't know who's on here. I don't know who's on here. Can y'all comment? Because I don't know who's on here. I'm trying to see some of my mom friends on this Facebook. Tiffany Abram Jones even sharing a post August 31st, 2020, stating, Death is hitting families left and right nowadays. God, please protect me and mine, as well as whoever reads this post. Sadly, tragedy struck their family in the most bizarre way, boiling from an unexplainable incident that may have happened in the beginning of July. Well, we want to get you to some breaking news here overnight. A two-alarm fire sweeping through a duplex in Mercer County, New Jersey. We have confirmed that one person has died and four others were rushed to the hospital. Two are seriously hurt. Firefighters rushed to the 200 block of Woodlawn Avenue in Hamilton Township around 3.30 this morning. The second alarm sounded a half hour later. At this point, the cause of that fire is under investigation. According to investigators, a man took a taxi from Trenton and he was seen wearing a dark colored sweatshirt, a mask and white gloves. Detectives obtained surveillance videos from the Fast Track gas station about 10 minutes before the fire. On surveillance, the man was shown buying a torch lighter and cigars. Video then allegedly shows the man walking back toward the home on Woodlawn Avenue, and the reflection of the light coming from the home can be seen on the camera four minutes after he passed. He was dropped off near the home on Woodlawn Avenue about 15 minutes before the fire broke out. The fire started at a about 3.40 a.m. The fire quickly erupted both sides of the home, causing a partial roof collapse. The action cam on the scene showed the home severely damaged by flames. Once authorities arrived to the scenes, the baby, Melanie Sanders, and her grandmother, 42-year-old Tiffany Abrams Jones, were found dead, official says. Her husband, 50-year-old Prince Jones, was rushed to a nearby hospital. Two other people who lived in the home, including the infant's mother, were critically injured in the blaze. The landlord for the the semi-attached home where the fire spread said that some of his tenants were able to escape due to a smoke alarm. I feel bad for them, including a little baby. They're shaking up, yeah, I saw them right away. Like four o'clock I came over, I saw them. They was good people, that's all. They was real good church going people. My niece-in-law lost her life and my great-great-niece lost her life, which was born last year on my birthday, which was my birthday present now. 
I don't have, only gonna have memories of her now. This is all too much for me. The Red Cross says that three families are now displaced, which is a total of 10 people. It's important to us to be here for the families, to make sure that, you know, we're, we're meeting emotional needs and, and support, just being there someone to, to hug. We're going to lead us in the Lord's hand. We're going to pray on this. Sadly, officials also announced on Sunday that the year old Prince Jones, the child's grandfather, died from the injuries sustained in the fire. Prosecutors said investigators worked the case nonstop over the weekend. They found out that earlier in the night, Michael Sanders sent his child's mother, who also lived in the home, a text telling her to get their child out of the house. According to the neighborhood talk, they also found Sanders made several disturbing posts in regards to the grandparents. On July 5th, I will give that girl family something to do next week. Stop playing with me. Friday at 6.20, I've been avoiding him all day. Literally haven't been home. He keeps screaming, Mikey, what matter? It ain't right, Kai. Daddy can't look at you and tell you some like that. Our baby gone. Yesterday, 7.30 p.m. This wasn't the plan. Good terms or bad terms. This wasn't supposed to end like this. Never. R.I.P. Lonnie. It's see you later. I love you. Hashtag get well baby mama. Friday 9.54 a.m. I had one effing job to do yo and that was to protect you and I felt everybody speaking on. They know nothing about everything that was going. Everybody know I will never put none of my babies in harm's way yo. This ain't fair yo. Friday 10.22 a.m. If you want to help me, fix it. Yo, I don't give a F. If it's your mom, dad, brother, baby mama, best friend, fix it, please. Man, fix it. Don't deal with pride. I didn't even reach out to my baby. Please fix it, yo. Yesterday at 2.24 p.m., I finally found the meaning of fighting demons. It was also discovered he had a past record that raised concerns. In 2017, 19-year-old Michael Sanders and a woman had been arguing all day over text message, and she began ignoring his calls. She told the police that when she arrived home, Sanders walked behind her car and fired seven shots into the vehicle. He fled the area, but officers were able to find him and arrest him. He then faced aggravated assault and weapon charges. In this case, additional video showed Sanders walking back to his home. When detectives searched the area, they found the dark hooded sweatshirt a few doors down from his home at the bottom of a basement stairway. All this information pushed for him to be found immediately. First, we are following breaking news just into our newsroom within the last hour. Mercer County prosecutors say a man has been arrested for setting a fire that killed three people, including his own baby girl in Hamilton Township. Sanders was taken into custody early Monday morning at a hotel in Plainsboro, officials said. The 23-year-old of Trenton is facing murder, assaults, and arson charges. It's unknown if Sanders has legal representation, but he has not entered a plea to his charges, and a motive for the arson has not been publicly displayed. The investigation is still ongoing. Anyone with information is asked to call 609-989-6406. This story is completely devastating. I would keep the family and friends of the victims in my thoughts and prayers. Down below, I will be putting a link to a GoFundMe account. This GoFundMe account is to help pay for the cost of three funerals. You guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinions about this case. I am truly lost for words. This made me completely speechless. I will continue to keep up with this. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to check down in the pinned section below. Love you guys so much. And with that being said, don't forget to check on your loved ones. Talk to you guys later.